Hey YouTubers, this is Gamecock Adam. Just thought I would um, give you guys some tips on installing or having a new pool put in. We just finished our project probably about six weeks ago. And there are some things I would do a little bit differently if I could do it again, but there's some things that I definitely would do again if I could do it again, or if I had to do it again. Um, so I just thought I would spend a few minutes with you to talk a little bit about both of those, um, answer any questions you might have or any um, concerns that you maybe been thinking about. So feel free to respond with any other questions, but um, just thought I would give you the things I really like about what we did and things that I would probably do differently if I were to do it again. So um, just a reminder, this is the fiberglass uh, Coronado model put out by Latham, also uh, known as Viking. Uh, there's some other brands, brand names that they build this pool under, but Latham is the parent company that owns the pool. So overall, uh, it's been very, very good for our family. It's a 15 by 34 pool. As you guys know, you can look it up on the internet. It's got the steps and bench feature, which our family has really enjoyed. We hang out here a lot. The thing that I would say is probably the coolest thing about this that nobody knows, nobody's ever advertised. We actually put a tent leg right there. We put a tent leg right there. And so a 10 by 10 or a 13 by 13 tent can cover the first, I guess you could say, quarter of the pool and keep you guys cool when it's hot outside. So that has been awesome for us. And that was a total surprise, but something I would just say you consider. I mean, it's about 10 feet wide at the narrowest spot right there. Um, as you know, you can see it gets wider there across the middle, but that's been a huge bonus for us and kept us cool on some of these hot days in South Carolina. So just something to consider. I love the coping stones. Would definitely do that again if I, um, had to do it again. It was about 2,800 bucks here for the guy who did it. And uh, just really gives it some pop, I think, and makes that that um, edge stand out. Uh, so it's kind of a wreck back here, so I apologize about that. But definitely would consider doing some coping stones or some sort of um, cantilever coping, if you could. Eventually, what we're gonna do out here is the cool deck. You guys have probably seen that. It, um, reduces the heat by about 40%. It hasn't been a problem for us really. The temperature, to my, in, in my opinion, in my wife's opinion, hadn't really noticed it that much. Um, but uh, just something to consider, something we're gonna do probably after the season. So definitely I would do the coping stones, the cantilever coping stones of some sort, just to give it that detail. Something else I definitely would do again Hell, maybe we would even add a second one of these, is having an extra light socket put out here. So the pool company that put our pool in, installed the pool, um, I got to thinking about this and got a recommendation from a buddy to go ahead and have another socket put out, or um, I guess that's what you call it. it. Our pool came with one, as you can see right there. There's two light sockets there, but we thought this would be good to have for charging iPhones, Bose speakers, you know, whatever, you, whatever your preference is out by the pool, keeping things charged up. So definitely wanna, wanna do that. Something else that we did that I would say is a must, it doesn't look all that great yet because I haven't finished it up, but having an extra uh, spigot put in. So I've got one on either side of my house, but don't have one here in the back. And occasionally you need to put a little bit of water in the pool, um, still up, Fill up the level occasionally and you just want it to be easy to where you can get right to it and so that has been a a plus for us so i definitely would say that um, it's something I, that i would do again but the number one thing that i would do the same way really i don't know if i would even change i think we did it just right for our pool is bust out the amount of concrete you want you will use every bit of it so our pool, we did about, I think it's 1,230 square feet of concrete. Yes, it was expensive, but talk about getting some resale value out of it and being able to use this space. I mean, it's, I mean, we, we are so thankful. We spent a little bit extra now to get it done because you don't want to try to add that later, in my opinion. And uh, 
just something I would definitely, definitely recommend. We put our, our tent here. We have a 13 by 13 tent that anytime I've had people over here, we're putting that tent right here. It's usually back it up to the line. It goes out to about right here. Still have enough room to get around it. Um, and again, like I was saying, you can kind of scoot it up to the edge of the pool. So please consider spending a little bit extra on the concrete now. I know it's pricey, but definitely will be worth its weight in gold in the future. Um, last, I guess, thing, it's not as big of a detail, but something I've had to do after the fact, sod. Don't forget the extra cost of all these other things you're gonna have to do. I had to purchase two pallets of sod. I laid it myself, it was really a pain in the ass, obviously. I'm 43 years old and getting up there a little bit, so um, a little bit of manual labor here. Uh, so putting that sod out kind of kicked my butt for a few days. So uh, don't forget to plan on that and irrigation systems as well. So on the whole back side of our wall, all that was destroyed, so it had to be redone. We had six or eight additional sprinkler heads put back there just for our irrigation system and the whole control unit had to be moved to. So please ask me questions about uh, anything that you want related to extra costs or how it works here in South Carolina. I'll be glad to tell you kind of how we paid for things, um, but you will be very happy with this pool. You know, we, we certainly love it and it's kind of the, um, the main fixture for our family right now at this moment. So hope that helps. Ask any questions and I'll be glad to help. Thank you.